Good evening to you, Jennifer. Police are still working to determine what led up to the shooting and who even pulled the trigger. But one thing we do know, Max Emerson made a lasting impression during his brief time at Oldham County High School. It's surreal. It doesn't feel real. Like, you don't want to believe it, but you have to. Josh Soder and other members of the Oldham County High School wrestling team got the devastating news Wednesday their coach, Max Emerson, had been killed. The 25-year-old was shot that morning on the campus of Catholic University in Washington, D.C. Teacher Julie Bauscher, who was part of the government and civics team with Emerson, said he had dedicated the summer to learning. He was going to be working with the Library of Congress to learn from them. Uh, later this summer, he was headed to Vietnam. He got a grant to, to travel and be able to learn things to use that in his classroom. In a statement to WLKY, the school praised the young teacher, saying he had a passion for creating exciting, creative, and rigorous lessons to keep students engaged. A former state champion wrestler, Emerson returned home a few years ago, not only as a teacher, but a coach. He really pushed you to be a better wrestler, a better athlete, um, a better student. You know, he was, he was really uh, strict, but fun guy to be with. In fact, senior Tristan Millett credits his state run to Coach Max. And the journey to get there, hard to forget. He almost got kicked out at like uh, two much of the tournaments. Pretty yeah. much all of them. Because he was always arguing with the rest. Always. He almost got thrown out. But the guys knew, and you can see it in pictures like this, that Coach Max was their number one fan. It's why this season is hard to imagine without him. Uh, ever since I've been here, he's been here. So I don't know. But the team does know one thing. There will be lots more trophies like these. That was this year, right? Yeah. Yeah. That. And each one will be for their coach. And those young men, guys, are very impressive. I have no doubt that case, that shelf, will be fully lined. Now, the wrestling team says they're still working on ways to honor Coach Max this season. But for now, they've planned a prayer circle at the school's wrestling room. That's going to happen tomorrow night. I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.